This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The college sports season is underway. Basketball won't tip off until November, but yesterday the preseason All-Americans were named and Oklahoma shooting guard Buddy Heal made the third team. Buddy, who decided to go back for his senior year, is also projected on NBADraft.net as a mid-first round pick in the 2016 draft. He averaged 17 points and 5.3 rebounds last season and won the Big 12 Player of the Year award. When one thinks of Bahamian sporting pioneers, the first thing they associate that with is the sport the person played. But tonight, Charles Fisher speaks with a visible figure who made his impact in a different way. And this living legend is still going strong. At age 77, Sir Arlington Butler is still his jovial self. I'm physically slowing down physically, but uh, mentally I'm still with him. <laughs> And that's the one part I'm happy about. I have no, no pains in my body, which is very good. Having served in the public eye for more than four decades, whether it was politics or sports, he does not miss the day-to-day -day rigors. I have resigned myself to my future. My future is bright in so far as I'm able to make it. But that's all I'm interested in, not all the glamour and the um, speed that I was capable of doing. I'm now capable of just enjoying whatever happened. He still carries the distinction as one of the longest serving Olympic Association presidents in the world, having led the Bahamas Olympic Association for 36 years, earning him respect all over. I always represented the small countries and I made a case for them on all their matters. And they all remember that I was a, a pioneer in trying to get things done for the benefit of athletes, in, for the benefit of associations. He was upbeat and joked when asked about the BOA now being the BOC and the state of Bahamian athletics. I've always said I don't think you should go from an A to a C. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my own way of saying things. But um, I think they're trying. And they're using the talent they have to be able to produce what's possible. We've got a, a gang of talented young athletes I think the great tragedy is that they are more motivated by the money. We were strictly amateur when I started. You couldn't be, have received anything, but it's grown on to become a profession for people, an opportunity for people to make a living. He may not be in the mix, but Salington still in tune with Bahamian Athletics. For ZNS Tool Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. Thanks a lot, Charles. Well, when women, they continue to play a major role in the local sports community. And tonight, Kelsey Johnson introduces us to Hope Curry, who has made her own bit of history. There's a new sheriff in town, and even though her warm smile is the first thing that greets you when you walk through the gate at the softball park, the newly elected commissioner in the New Providence Softball Association is not messing around. In fact, she's holding each player and coach's feet to the bases. Being elected the first female uh, commissioner of softball is humbling. But one of my main dreams is to get law and order and rules and regulations in. Because softball is something that could take you worldwide. But there are some fundamental things that we must do. And one of them is follow rules and regulations and make this a place. Because as a child, that might have been a while, but I know softball used to be the playing. Everybody used to be the softball, and right now we have our fans, each team have their fans. But I'd like to see more people come into the park, and this can be a family event. In her short stint as commissioner, Curry has already resolved three matters in a Grand Slam fashion. All I'm going to do is go by the Constitution and the regulations, and they will respect me for that. I will keep my foot down, and whatever the rules and regulations say, that is what I will carry out. 
Her biggest at bat is the upcoming playoffs, which will swing into action in a couple of weeks. So that's the regular rules that are here, and that's the ones that we're going to carry out. Nothing new, just the constitution and the regulations, and that, that's what we're going to that's what we're going to enforce here. And that will take care of it. Just because she sits at the gate doesn't mean she doesn't know which teams are vying for the top spot in the two divisions. If you let her tell her side of the story, sneaking away from the gate to catch an exciting play or two is not permitted. But when you're so passionate about the game, you sometimes have to watch the play with your own eyes. This is going to be exciting. This has already started. You got the Wildcats there, you got the Bummer G, you have the Johnson Lady Truckers, you have the Stingers, you have COB, who say not to deny them, and in the men's, you got the great old Truckers, you have BTC Warriors, you have the Jamel Panthers, we have the Chances Mighty Mix. This is going to be the season. This is now, this is the race to the finish, this is the place to be. Teams are back on the mound and will look to close out their season with wins. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. Thanks a lot, Kelsey. Still talking softball, some new rules have recently been implemented and NPSA President Godfrey Gully Burnside says a few of them still seem to be giving players some problems. I think the biggest one is um, stepping out of the batter's box after a pitch is made and being thrown back to the uh, pitcher. And uh, the rule indicates that um, you know you must be in a position, all right, when you step out of the batter's box, the ball is in a, position, a particular position, the pitch is on, and if you step out of the a strike is called, all right? And uh, if you have two strikes on that means you get you, you get a third strike, you're out. And I think that's the biggest problem with the moving out of the batter's box, all right, without calling a timeout, all right, to adjust your swing, adjust yourself, and so forth, or disagreeing with a call. A lot of players just move out of the batter's box, and so that is one of the um, rules that has been a little harsh. And uh, players, managers, some of them understand it, and uh, we had it being explained uh, from time to time by the by the um, umpire in chief. And so hopefully the appreciation for it as we go down the stretch, people will be more aware of uh, moving out of the batter's box. Is these just stepping, taking one foot and putting a step on the batter's box, and you're still, all right, in, in the rules itself and would not be called a strike. And so I think that's one. And that's the flex rule, okay, the movement of players in and out of the game. And that's been explained the other night also. A lot of, um, of the... Uh, um, fans don't know that, so they'll be making a bunch of noise when their movement, uh, certain players from one position to the next player, and how they, um, the managers will, will move and adjust their players from time to time. Last night we heard from the champions of the Chairman's Golf Invitational, which was staged over the weekend at Sandals Emerald Bay in Exuma, and tonight we hear from the runners-up. We did well. It's a tough golf course, beautiful golf course, challenging, um, but we finished second, so we, we did better than everybody but one team. Competition was real good, real good out there, uh, especially that guy that won it. And we would love to win it next year, so I hope we have the chance. All Reds Class C Regatta will open up the 2016 sloop sailing season, and organizers are already hard at work. Well, all regatta is going well. Uh, we, uh, we had some problems in all regatta, but we, we're going to regroup and, we, and we're going to pull it off this year. We, we expect it to be big and better this year, you know, we're going we're gonna to try. I expect a couple of the boats out of Long Island, you know, I always go to Long Island, I expect a couple of the boats out of Long Island and a couple out of Black Point, you know, we get stiff competition, you know. I tired of uh, Golden Girl giving me problems and, and I want some other boats giving me problems. I always love competition, I always go with competition, as I love the competition, you know, and the more, the more competition the better it is for me. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.